All right, a couple of you have asked me how the allotment is doing a community garden plot, so I'm gonna head out there right now. Uh, like I said, it's about four and a half miles um, when I mentioned it before. So let's go out and take a look. It, it's rained a couple of days, so um, I don't know if anything's coming up or not, how muddy it's gonna be. Haven't really had a chance to go out there. Um, we've had company and it's, it's been raining and it's been windy, so I've been sticking around home mostly. I haven't even really got the um, greenhouse put together. I'm gonna do a little update on that as well. Um, just to kind of show you where I'm at on that and um, I don't think it's going to take too much longer to put together I haven't done much of anything but the foundation, but uh, let's let's go take a look at, at the garden plot first And uh, then I'll come back and I'll show you the the greenhouse Over here I did an experiment And I don't see anything coming up for either side yet, so I, either I planted it too deep Or it just isn't ready yet. Oh wait. Nope. I take that back Let's see if I can zoom in here. It's really hard to see with the sun. Let me see if I could pull this out. Uh, well, we'll just see how this looks when I edit it. Anyway, the sun is really bright, so I can't I can't see what I'm I can't see in my monitor here. really what I'm looking for um, except that um, on this side you see where I kind of have a, some darker dirt here where the darker dirt starts is um, is the spinach now you see right here I've got onions I've got an onion there and then the darker dirt now from here where the darker dirt starts to right here I planted the uh, the seed um, the seed mats that I used the uh, the napkins with the glue and the spinach seeds. And as you can see here, I don't know if you can for sure. There's some spinach. There's some spinach. There's some spinach. Looks like the spinach is coming up pretty well. Now over here, I just when I got to this point I ran out of the napkins and I still had about two and a half feet to go and uh, looks like there's some there's one spinach there at least I'm looking to see yep there's there's one right there move move that so uh, yeah there's one so the spinach is coming up and uh, at the moment more of it is coming up it looks like from the napkin uh, seed mat uh, deal, then it's coming up from the actual, uh, just planting the seeds directly in the dirt. So we'll see how that goes. Now here, see I've got the one foot row thing and then I've marked that for where I've stopped. Okay, this is the backyard. There's the back of the house, there's a cat. And the window. One of the two white cats we have. Okay, this is the foundation of the greenhouse. This is as far as I've gotten uh, because it's been rainy, it's been cold. I've had to watch the kids um, on some of the nice days, so I haven't been able to really get a lot done back here. But this is about 36 bags of gravel, pea gravel coming up to about um, three quarters to a half an inch from the lip inside. The floor was, um, the hole was actually two and a half to two and three quarters inch deep all the way around. Um, what I did is, um, it was also a little bit wider, it was about ten inches, uh, or ten feet, five inches, uh, by eight feet, five inches, just to uh, accommodate some extra space if needed went through here and around the edge here you can see some of the grass is a little lighter color um, what that is is um, when I dug out the grass um, put the foundation in put the gravel in I went ahead and used the entire 40 bags of gravel and I poured some of it around the edge and then I came through and I placed the grass back in 
with the dirt. So now I've got, you know, got a little uh, support here on the on the outside, and uh, the grass should grow back in at least uh, for the most part. I've still got some more there. I haven't decided what to do yet. There are some patches in the yard where the dogs have walked. You can see that I might uh, put them down where the grass is dead. I did put some of it around the peach tree already where the dogs like to lay and kind of dug that out. Um, raised beds. This is the um, slightly destroyed asparagus bed. I did see a little piece of asparagus try to pop up the other day. So it might not be completely uh, a loss here. There's a tree buds. Uh, I did plant Swiss chard. Oh, there's right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. A little purple asparagus. I did plant some Swiss chard in here and some radishes and some spinach on either side of the asparagus and I imagine next year if the asparagus does happen to live that it is going to um, probably take up the rest of the bed.